Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Build and Drive Maintenance Series, where I'm gonna teach you guys how to drain and fill your coolant. So this can cost you up to around two to $300 at a dealership. Save the money, do it yourself for around 40 bucks. And if you're interested in saving money by fixing your own BMW yourself, consider subscribing and checking out my other maintenance videos below. So let's get started. Lord of mercy. Since 2004, BMW dubbed this coolant as a lifetime fill, which in some cases is true, and you know why. Why? Because your water pump or thermostat will break way before the coolant ever wears out. So some people say to replace the coolant every 30,000 kilometers or two years, and this coolant that I have has been in the car for five years and around 50,000 kilometers. It's done multiple track days, a few hot summers, some very harsh winters, and I have had no issues at all. Nani? It's crazy. Isn't that crazy? We've done 5,000 kilometers on the engine. It's all rebuilt. Kein problem. Kein problem. A few moments later. Oh, that's not good. There's a little bit of maybe coolant spraying from here. Now over time this fluid may cause acid buildup if contaminated by dirt, oil, rust, and may have reduced resistance to boiling or freezing. So as a precautionary measure, it's time to swap it out. So this footage is from when I was rebuilding and swapping out my M52 engine. If you're interested in that, I'll have a link to the playlist below. How was that? I don't know how you to get this back together. Yep. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. But first, in order to drain out the coolant, you're going to take off the under tray and look for this blue drain plug on either side of the radiator. Unscrew the blue drain plug and put it a bucket underneath. Make sure your coolant reservoir cap is unscrewed to allow air to flow into the system. So when it's empty, you can also do one of the pipes from the water pump if you want to make sure most of the fluid is out of the system. But this is optional because sometimes these hoses are old and brittle and can break. So then reattach everything and you're going to start mixing your coolant. What you need is a 50-50 mix of BMW coolant. You can't use just any coolant, the red stuff or the green stuff. And distilled water. Don't use tap water. Now the whole system takes about seven or eight li liters of fluid and if you live in extremely cold climates you could add a bit more coolant to make the mix a 60-40 mix. So over at the coolant reservoir you'll need to open the bleeder screw to let any air out of the system. So I filled it up as you can see it's at its max. It's kind of bubbling a bit here and there so I'm assuming it's you know just getting into all the crevices what you can do is just push on some of the Hoses should still bleed everything, but uh, yeah, it may take some time. Close the bleeder screw and the reservoir cap, and then you'll have to run the venting process. And you may want to hook up a battery charger to the underhood jumper points just to keep the battery from running down. What we want to do is not start the car, just put it in. And then we're going to turn the ignition on. We're going to put the fan, the temperature on high and the fan on low. So we're going to put the temperature all the way up and we're going to put it on its lowest setting just like that, just on uh, the lowest setting. And then we're going to press the gas pedal for about 10 seconds. And then this will activate the water pump. The water pump should cycle on and off and on and off. So already I can hear it. Can you hear that, guys? And it's going to do that for about 10 minutes. So once the water pump stops, open the reservoir cap and add coolant until the measuring stick is about 6 millimeters above the top of the filler neck. So then close the cap and check any, for any leaks in the system. And of course, reinstall the plastic under tray and your job is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out my other video tutorials on my channel. If any of these videos were helpful to you, consider dropping a like and sharing these videos on social media to help other BMW owners save money fixing their cars. See you guys in the next video.